Try to do it on three engines, you could stall the airplane so, as a backup for a good CRM. Right, that's a good point. I need to put that in my uh, checklist. Last time I flew this one, I think I went back, on the way back from Greenland, they had uh, problems with the altitude hole, just to let you know. I don't know if it was if you saw it in the notes or not. No, I did, but thank you. I'll, uh, I'll watch that. Like about a five mile final, so I can make it run and straight at the skiway. For the crew, a first landing in an ice cap is always an extremely disconcerting experience. There's very little visual definition. Old hand Jim Blakeney has his own interpretation. I have been involved in, in landings that uh, uh, I would equate to landing inside of a ping pong ball. And uh, there, there are no definition to, to really adjust what your landing picture is based on uh, what you're normally used to seeing. Five miles out. The tension builds as they close on their first skiway touchdown. See the skiway fine. Suddenly, a bizarre structure floats into the white void. I'm trying to figure out what this UFO is that keeps following us out here. It's one of the deserted early warning radars, the 109th service during the Cold War. Landing gear's down, skis are down, indicators are checked, co-pilot. Engineer. Pilot, come back to 179. 179. Just for feedback for you, Kelly, you're slightly left of center line. All right, we'll uh, head uh, 183. Good correction, you were right on center line. Okay. Engineer has the lead in plan. Go pilot has the approach, continue descent. Roger, continue descent. The skiway is dead ahead, clear and visible, follow clock, pilot, take a look. 300 feet. 300. Minimum. Minimum. Roger that. 100 feet. Right. 109 down to your skis are not going to change. Okay. Yeah, 50. 40. 107 across the threshold. 30. Down to uh, 200. 20. 10. First landing of the season, Kelly gets a thumbs up from the captain. Nice approach, Kelly. Yeah. Thank you. This morning, the weather looks perfect for flying practice, although the forecast is for high winds returning later in the day. 